Hey man, I'm Chris with Foamcast. We're fighting Asian Chuck Norris, and I have zero champions in this deck. Found this on the Twitter account, Runeterra Dex, D-E-X. And I don't really know what's going on yet. Build Shadow Isles, huh? I don't know, do I want to keep the Elixir of Iron to dodge little things? Who are his champions? Nautilus, Maoki, and Thresh. So he's late game deep deck. I don't know, I think I gotta try to burn him out. Ooh, one, two, three, four. So yeah, someone uh, is playing this deck in Asia. Maybe it only works against the Asia meta. He has nothing to stop this, yeah. That's a really interesting card. One mana, one, one, when it dies, get a random follower in hand that has last breath. It could cost one, two, or three. So what does he want from me? Bruh. All right, he can't kill this. Oh, my audio's cutting out. It'll come back. Things might look laggy for a little bit. But it's a card game. You can barely tell. Let me try to fix it. And we're back. All right. Two Kinko Wayfinders. So I'm going to pull every one of these and every Omen Hawk out of my deck. Elusive Boys. This kind of deck used to be a plague in the game, but they nerfed it pretty bad. Yep. His deck has a lot of life gain. But we already got him low. I can't believe it runs these. Eh. I think I'm going to take the damage. I could trade there. He's not really about dealing a lot of damage to me. I'll do that. Oh man, the cat just pooped and it stinks. This is my life. Two Omen Hawks. Oh my god, it throws them in play. Oops. So that's why you want to play that on your turn. He quit. <laughs> Okay, I get it. You want to play the card that puts the two one ones in play on your turn so it buffs up that other dude. And then, so you don't even get the Omen Hawk buff. Wow. That was way too fast for a YouTube video, so I'll do another one. We won the first game, so it's capable of winning. But now we got Burn. This one might not go as well. I don't think I'm playing a tier one deck. And we're about to be fighting a tier one deck, so things are gonna get weird. I'll keep Elixir of Iron. And see if I can have this Omen Hawk pop off. So many weird cards in this, bro. Jeweled Protector. So I'm taking two damage every turn forever. This doesn't seem good. I really hope he doesn't have Boom Crew Rookie. Which, you know, they always have. Alright. That still means that I can't attack with that. I, I just expect to get blitzed out here. Eh, buffed up Kinko Life Blade will gain me some life. But sometimes by that turn, you're already dead. Boop, 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 boop. 
Yeah, I got nothing here. We got a lot of, uh... There's another 4 damage. I'm at freaking 10, bro. But I can gain a little bit of life with Life Blade. God, I hate his burn deck. Alright. There's my life gain. I don't know. I'm popping him for 9. I'm pretty sure I'm dead next turn. No, because I'll gain three. Oh, I can't wait. Never see us He's dead next turn. His board's full. He can't even play anything else. And next turn, I can bounce things, block with my life blade. I got no creature in hand. They buffed up Jeweled Protector before. Am I seriously about to beat Burn? Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy has the card that buffs. If I take all the damage, I go down to zero. I think I need to do that around there. We'll see what he does, and then I can decide if I want to bounce things back. Or heal up. Next turn, I go Omen Hawk, Jeweled Protector, and these go up to 4 attack. So we would win. This will put me at 7, which is comfy. I expect him to do stuff here. The deal 1 damage, buff up another card. Yikes. Now I got no clue what to do. I think he's going to decimate and then decimate when I attack. I don't know. I think I just play this because I don't really have any other options. It's going to buff up something crappy, though. I could pass to him and see what he does. But then I'm burning, what, three mana. I mean, he, we're, he'll just block it. I'll pass to him. This got complicated. I mean, that makes me want to attack even less. I could play the bird. I mean, he's dead when I attack if he doesn't have anything else. I have seven on... No, he's at nine. I play the bird, then attack, and he's dead. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna bounce that back to his hand so his spell cancels out, and he doesn't pop me for five. Bip. Get on, dude. Oh, I want to be him so bad, but I think he might kill me somehow. I mean, part of me wants to go this to buff this. But then he gets two plays.
I'll do it. I'm doing it. Buffing that. I got lethal right now. That's four damage. If he has monkey clap, I just died. I'm glad I didn't BM. I can only do it to allies. He could have done that at any point because it's fast speed. But if I open attacked, I couldn't have killed him. I could have only have dealt seven. I could have prevented him from playing that. All right. God dang it. It's a deck. Is it tier one and can it beat burn? Possibly. But I lost that one. Really close. I dodged death a couple times. Ugh. Here's the list. I don't think I had lethal anyway. Man. So it's basically another deck that's unplayable in this meta because it doesn't have enough life gain. I even had turn four Kinko life blade that was buffed up to three. Maybe the play was for me to attack, open attack at the beginning. Because then I would have gained three life and I wouldn't have been dead that turn. God, I hate that burn deck. All right, calling it there. We won one, we lost one. It's kind. Of, it might be a meme deck, but some dude in Asia got this to master rank and he was in top 100 or whatever. Oh, calling it there. Flip. That's the end of this YouTube video, guys. God, I hate losing to Burn. Thanks for watching. Phone cat.